Delisle Catholic Science College is a comprehensive school in Loughborough, a short distance from the pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. It has a well-established and well-organised programme of out-of-school activities, including science clubs for Year 8 and 9s. Today, AstraZeneca scientist Laura Downs has come to the college to take part in the Year 9 Science Club. It's Laura's first visit to the school, so she's taken time out from work to ensure she's fully prepared. Hi. Hi there, Hi. Laura. Welcome to Valaya. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Crucially, she's arranged a pre-meeting with Delar's Head of Applied Science, Andrew Higson, to run through what she can expect from the Science Club. Have you got any hints or tips for me going in and running the club? Yeah, I would always say with students that the thing is not to be afraid of them. You just have to be absolutely yourself with them. It's vital to talk to them because you do need to do some form of preparation and you need to have an understanding of the kids and, and what they've been learning and also what, what, how the club typically runs and what you'll be expected to do there. So you need to have that knowledge up front. They're always interested in new people and they'll always have questions to ask you which might try to divert you off the topic that, you, that you're going for. And I think some of that's quite nice because it shows interest in you as, you, know, you as a person and where you've come from and why you've come to visit the club today. Um, and what you have to try and do is go with some of those questions but also keep one eye on the time and sort of say right okay well we'll come back to that in a little bit if there's time. The other thing I'd say is sometimes you know students they are they are quite able but they can have a sort of a, an area of arrogance sometimes with them okay. um, particularly when it's someone they don't know so the only other thing I'd say to you is don't accept anything that you're not happy with off them I mean Please feel free to sort of say to them, you know, well, I've come in today to help you and I want you to be working in this way or that way. Um, and just feel, you know, totally confident to sort of speak to them and deal with them in, in whatever way that you see fit. There's a well-established plan of activities within the science clubs, which lead up to an award run by the British Association for the Advancement of Science. The club Laura's taking part in specialises in forensics. Today what I'll be doing is a forensics workshop. Um, it will be a murder in the river type scenario where we will be taking river water samples um, which have been polluted with acid and were taken from different sites of a river where a body was found and we'll be able to do a titration to find out exactly where the body was dumped and give us that piece of evidence. The pupils will be given a handout detailing all the background of the scenario together with a sheet on which to log their results. Before the club starts, Laura takes time out in the school's staff room for some last minute preparation. I went ahead preparing for today by contacting the coordinator of the school and finding out what would be required to do and what I might need to bring and also having a look at the curriculum and sort of looking at the sort of things that the kids have learnt about that are in relation to what's happening in the club and also refreshing myself on some basic science stuff so that I'll be talking at their level. Delisle has a well-equipped collection of labs and Laura also takes the opportunity to run through what she'll need with one of the school's lab technicians. If you just make them aware, it's one mole of uh, sodium hydroxide, so it will. Feel well, that, that on was land. that was one of my final questions. Is the health, health and safety is very much at the forefront of Laura's mind. The main thing that I've been doing this afternoon in preparation for the science club is making sure that everything's ready in the laboratory, so all the equipment's here, all the reagents are here and that we have enough of everything for the number of kids that are going to be here. Also, um, checking that the reaction is going to work, okay, and that I know the safety rules of this laboratory and what's the key things to get across to the kids. You know, just so they'll be wearing time. goggles, and what about lab coats? Will they all have a um, lab coat to wear, or do they not tend to? They don't tend to. That's fine, big, it's not a problem. Okay, so usually. it's just being careful with the older... Um, yeah. and AOH and I noticed I mean, she put some in. funnels in as well. Although Laura has worked with school children before, this is the first time she's actually led a science club. I feel slightly nervous about facing the kids, um, but I think it's going to be fun and hopefully they're going to be involved and so, you know, it, it should be a good thing. It's four o'clock and time to see if Laura's day of preparation has paid off, but it's Andy who kicks off the session. Okay, excuse my poor writing. A dead body is found in a river. What I want you to do then, with the person next to you, maybe the, the four next to you, 
I'd like you to try and think of all the possible reasons why this dead body has ended up in this river. Okay? So quick discussion. How many ideas can we come up with? Any possible reasons? Okay? It could be something as silly as um, it was a rubber doll. Yeah? It doesn't have to be scientific. It doesn't have to be sensible. All right? Your two minutes starts now. Uh, so they, they drowned while they were swimming. Yes. Yeah. Oh, was he diving? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Instead of jumping into the water, they jumped onto a sharp rock and then were washed away by the incoming tide. After running through some of the suggestions, Andy hands over to Laura. Right, what we're going to do then, OK, I know that there's some really brilliant ideas, much better than I could come up with. What I'm going to introduce, or who I'm going to introduce to you today, <laughs> is our specialist, OK? She's come all the way from AstraZeneca and she's going to take over because we're not experts compared to Laura. Now, Laura is going to take over from me now and she's going to tell you all about what you're going to be doing in today's session. So, this is Laura. Hi. Hello. Laura gets off to a good start, engaging the children with a series of questions about the science of forensics. Today, what we're going to be doing is some forensics. OK? I know you all know a little bit about forensics, so who wants to tell me what forensic chemistry is? Yeah? Sometimes they um, use forensics when there's been like um, a murder or um, if there's been a burglary to find out who actually did it. Who did it? Yeah. Okay. So what are they looking for? Um, sometimes to look for fingerprints and DNA of the person. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Forensic science is all about evidence, okay, and it's used to find what happened in crimes, okay? What, who, where, why. What with? Now it's time to demonstrate today's experiment. And Laura's had the good idea to involve pupils right from the start. The pupils have a sample taken from the dead body marked B and three river samples marked C, D and E. All have been polluted with hydrochloric acid. In the titration, they'll be adding sodium hydroxide to each of the samples until each sample is neutralized. They'll use an indicator that turns pink when the reaction is complete. Measuring the amount of sodium hydroxide added will allow the pupils to determine the relative strengths of the hydrochloric acids in each of the samples. It's starting to go pink. Can you show them? So if you stop now. Matching their results with the level found in the dead body in sample B should allow them to determine where the body was dumped. Do you want to get that down to... It starts with a zero at the top, OK? When you've got water solution in a tube like this and you can see, clearly see the meniscus is a curved shape. So one of the things we need to make sure is that when we measure this out, we measure it out accurately, okay? And that means the bottom of the meniscus sits on the top of the line. Finally, the pupils split into groups to analyse one of the river water samples. Do I aim for that? It's organised chaos as Laura D. dashes between groups, keen to ensure everything runs smoothly. But the children seem to be enjoying the session. It's quite different to what we normally have because we normally just have a teacher. But now we've got like an expert, it's quite exciting. We like science clubs because they're interesting and they're fun. And you get to do a lot of stuff that you don't get to do in normal science lessons as well. Yeah. And it's sort of very good that we're actually learning how it takes part, how it takes place, and seeing beyond the vision that most people get. This evening, I think it's going very well. I think the, the students were quiet to start with, but you can see as soon 